hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well or welcome if you're new here it has been forever since i just sat down and filmed one of these like chilled chatty favorites videos but i feel like they're some of the videos on my channel that have done the best so let me know if you enjoy these i know i need to do more because i have so many products i want to share with you guys if you have watched one of these you'll know that mine are pretty random we have like skincare in here we've got some clothing items hair products my favorite fashion piece at the moment some homeware stuff so it's going to be a little bit all over the place and random but i like to just kind of cover all bases and yeah just show you everything that i've been loving for the past couple of months or so i am not feeling the best so apologies if i don't sound the greatest um i'm just having a really chill day i also have a quick neck so if i'm kind of moving a little bit like a robot that is why my neck is literally in agony but that's why i thought i'd film this today just sit down chill i've got no makeup on and yeah just film a really nice and relaxed video for you guys to watch but that being said i am going to get straight into these items because i'm currently surrounded my stuff that I want to share with you so I think I'm gonna start with like beauty hair care not very fitting because like I just said I haven't put any makeup on today but I thought I'd show you a couple of my favorite makeup products at the moment also I'm not entirely sure if I have I may have already showed you this stuff like in previous favorites videos but I can't remember and I'm sure there are still things that I am like currently still loving and have loved since I filmed those if that makes sense so apologies if I am repeating myself I must just really love the product but the first thing is this serum which is the charlotte tilbury magic i actually can't remember the name of it because right now it literally just says p-u-m magic plump serum no i love charlotte tilbury products but i really don't love that all of their packaging like wears off so quickly like on every item i have it literally just rubs off so i can't remember the full name of this but it's basically their serum that i think is a lot like their magic cream moisturizer obsessed with this it is quite an investment you can actually get a smaller size than this so i'll link both sizes if you just want to test it out but i've had this for i want to say maybe seven or eight months now like a very long time and i still have a lot in here and i use this every single time i do my makeup so you really don't need a lot as much as it is a little bit more pricey it is going to last you a long time but it just feels so nice on the skin and i feel like it gives you that really nice glow like i also love the hollywood flawless filter but i honestly feel like sometimes you don't need it with this because this already gives you that glow so sticking with charlotte tilbury this is my favorite foundation at the moment i have moved from the it cosmetics cc cream to this still love the it cosmetics one it's literally just that is um a lighter shade for me at the moment and this is my color at the moment so i was recommended this i think by sid i feel like she was testing this out a little while ago and her skin looked incredible i was like what on earth have you just used because i need it and it's a charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation it's kind of like cc cream vibes like it's much more coverage than like a tinted moisturizer but much less coverage than a thick heavy foundation which i really like especially like on holiday and stuff it's really nice it's just a lot more lightweight um i think it looks really nice and natural so these two together are my perfect skin combination at the moment like i just mentioned i will be linking all of these products down below so if you want to shop anything if you want to try it out I thought someone was trying to break in but it was just bad so that's what i was saying um i'm gonna link everything down below so if you do see anything you want to try out or just have a look at then look in the description and all of the links will be there but the only other product that i wanted to mention in terms of makeup because this is like a cult favorite i feel for everyone but i've been really really late to the bandwagon on this i just couldn't really justify the price love benefit brow products like i have their um I can't remember the name of it but like their classic brow pencil and I do love it but these are like 20 24 pounds a go like I think this brow gel is 24 pounds which is a lot of money but again now I've invested in it I've had this for a long time it still has a lot of product in it and it is great like it is so worth the money so this is their 24 hour brow setter i just got the clear one i think you can get tinted ones as well which are really good like if you have maybe quite fair brows and you want to add a little bit of color when you do set them then they would be perfect um but i just went for the clear one because i actually use i should have bought it down i have a new um brow like pen that i use instead of a pencil it's like one of those really thin like felt tips and i love it because it means you can really like draw on hairs and they look super realistic so that is like my brow combination at the moment i think that's from nyx so i will link that along with this um if you want to check it out but i think i've got that in like an ash brown color nyx brow products are really good actually um they're super inexpensive i think their brow pencil which is more or less a match for the benefit one is something like eight pounds so 
I do recommend those as well, but I have fallen in love with this. I get the hype. So, skincare kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to go too much into like moisturisers and stuff because I've mentioned my cult favourites before. Um, I love Elemis products. I love Kills products. That is kind of what I always go for. My favourite moisturiser is the Elemis Superfood like anti-redness moisturiser. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but... I will link that in case you want to know what moisturizer I use, but I have literally spoken about those products, I think, in my past two videos. So I thought I'd save you that for this one. Um, and the only thing that I really want to mention is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Again, something that everybody else has loved for literally years. I feel like this was such a thing when YouTube was like first getting into like a beauty kind of community almost. Like all of the beauty gurus would talk about Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. And I was like 13 at the time. There was no way my mum was going to spend like 20 or 30 pounds on a lip balm for me. So I bought this for myself again not too long ago. But this is the 50ml pot. You can actually get... I think like lip balm sticks now which is the eight hour cream but it's like in a little compact so it's so much easier to take around but I got the big pot because it's still under 100 mil I can still take this on planes with me really really enjoy this you can also use it on like your skin if you have like problem areas so then body moisturizers I actually have three to recommend you Um, one is kind of more for like holiday and then this is one that I found super recently they very kindly Garnier actually very kindly sent me a PR package which is like the cutest thing ever they had four of their new um moisturizer tubs in there which by the way these are huge like such a good size um but also they had like a little ice lolly making kit and it was actually like the best PR package but yeah I'd never heard of these before and Brad and I actually love these like the scent of them the formula of them it's not like any other moisturizer I've had so these are their body superfood 48 hour nourishing cream so this is the avocado and omega-6 one they have like a cocoa one um like a watermelon one that is my favorite because the scent is dreamy and the scents are quite strong that uh, they are quite fragrant but i don't feel like that affects your skin at all brad actually has quite sensitive skin so i feel like i get a good <laughs> sounds really bad but like i can test your products would affect sensitive skin because he's been absolutely fine with these um my skin kind of doesn't really react to anything like it's always absolutely fine you really don't need a lot of it and it just blends out like on your skin so nicely so i suppose these would be good for holiday as well like they are a really nice scent and they're nice and lightweight they're super hydrating so again as a bit of like an after sun moisturizer these are really good for that too but my absolute favorite favorite holiday product i feel like i cannot go on holiday if i don't have one of these packed in my suitcase um this is the hawaiian tropics after sun body butter it just it literally just smells like a dream like that is holiday in a tub for me. I will forever repurchase it every single time I get to the airport. I actually tried their sun cream products when we went to Gran Canaria and I always use their like SPF 8 when I've got a bit of a base tan. Like I love to use their more like oil based SPF but I actually tried like their Factor 30 aerosol like spray on sun creams and they were amazing. Like again, smells incredible but the aerosol was so easy to apply. It had like a really nice fine mist. Um, I feel like the coverage was really good. They were amazing, so I'm going to try and find them online and I'll link those as well because I would highly recommend. And then the final moisturiser I have, I wanted to recommend this because this is like, again, a favourite that I always go back to and I specifically love this in the winter because it is super, super moisturising. So this is the Kiehl's Creme de Crops. Just as like an all-round good product this is that they do this in a massive bottle i've had that before i've gone through a whole one of them i've had like mini sizes that i like to take away with me but i wouldn't say it's like the nicest smelling product ever it does have like a subtle scent to it but it's definitely not like a fragrance like these would be so before we move on to the rest of the products that i have to show you guys i actually wanted to tell you a little bit about our sponsor for today's video which i'm so excited about i'm sure you guys have heard about these i've heard so many people rave about them and i was super excited when they reached out because i've actually been trying this product out but i've had one of their bottles for a few months and yeah they reached out and asked if i wanted to work with them so today's video is very kindly sponsored by air up like i say I'm sure you guys have heard of them but they are essentially a water bottle which personally to me makes drinking water so much more fun love that it's super sustainable because you only have to buy the bottle once and you can obviously reuse it but essentially air up has a load of science behind it that means that you can take some regular plain tap water and make it taste amazing so if you haven't seen how air up work you essentially fill up your bottle of water and then they have these scent pods which i have so many flavors here to try they very kindly sent over so many new ones. We have the lemon and basil, cola, peach iced tea, which I think I'm going to try now, and then the classic 
peach. A lot of the scent pods do differ in like intensity with their flavor. There are like the premium edition ones, which tend to taste a little bit stronger, but essentially the whole point of this is to create flavored water. It's not gonna be like literal juice. So this is the little scent pods. They just come packaged like this. You just wanna open this up. This one smells incredible. So then you just wanna grab the pod, pop it on top of the bottle and then push it all the way down. So that is how you want to set it up and then with the pod pushed all the way down like this you can just drink normally so there's no flavor there it just tastes like normal water and then to activate the pod you just want to pull it up to this little like ledge that it has on the nozzle you'll hear that it sounds different and that is essentially what makes the flavor come through so it works with like a mix of air while you're drinking the water that's what kind of draws the scents in and then all the science stuff happens and that is how you eventually start tasting the water this one actually tastes quite strong like it tastes like peach iced tea so when i'm done having a little sip of water i just push the pod back down and then the air out bottles come with a lid that you can screw on and it keeps the scent pod nice and fresh so yeah that is a little bit about air up if you haven't heard of them i would highly recommend them such a good investment to make it does make you want to drink more water like i said it makes it a bit more fun i also think these would be so good for kids because i feel like they'd be literally fascinated by like the science of it how it all works huge thank you to air up again for sponsoring this section of today's video i will leave this product link down below in the description if you do want to test it out but i also wanted to add this to my favorites of the last couple of months so before we move on to hair care a new deodorant to recommend i used to use aerosol deodorants religiously like i would never use anything else and i've been repurchasing this dove deodorant for ages like when i go on holiday i always take this with me because it smells incredible it's like a cucumber scent um but i only ever use it around the pool but i've started using this like every day as my daily deodorant and I'm thoroughly enjoying it is so much better than any spray deodorant I've tried so if you do need a new deodorant or you want to try something out or if you want to steer away from the aerosols then try this because I really enjoy this okay hair care I kind of have a couple of brands that I wanted to recommend because there are so many products from these brands that you will just love first being Kerastas I think this conditioner is literally empty by this point but their shampoo and conditioner duos are 10 out of 10 like the products are amazing they leave your hair feeling so so good they basically have loads of different ranges for all different types of things like all different hair types or if you have something you want to work on with your hair like these are the anti-hair fall fortifying shampoos so it's for weakened hair that is prone to falling out due to breakage which kind of is me because i have bleached my hair once or twice in the past so these are a really nice range for me at the moment but they have like smoothing ones anti-frizz ones they have so many different kind of duo sets but i feel like they just work so well together they are really nice indulgent products and kerastas as a whole like all their hair masks their hair oils things like that are amazing and then the other brand this is very very luxe this is completely empty but this is the philip kinsley elasticizer hair mask so so good like honestly unbelievable obviously i love my olaplex my favorite hair mask with them is the number three and number zero i think it is like mixed together but this is just as good like it leaves your hair feeling amazing yeah philip kinsley is definitely another brand that i would recommend and then i've kind of rediscovered this recently so this is my function of beauty hair oil i love function of beauty products i used to use their shampoo and conditioner all the time but i have just kind of since found other brands that i'm using i'm very very lucky to be able to be sent quite a lot of stuff so I did get sent these Karastas products and I kind of just fell in love with them so I kind of need to get back on the Function of Beauty hype but yeah found their hair oil the other day and I've taken this away with me everywhere I've been recently and as you can see it is well loved it just smells incredible so if you don't know about Function of Beauty they are essentially a brand where you can um, customize everything for yourself so the scent you can pick what scent you want you can pick the intensity you can pick like what your hair goals are but I really love their kind of add-on products. So like this, the hair oil, um, they also have a hair mask, they have body lotions, body butters, like they are a really amazing brand. So if you wanna try something out, I would highly recommend the hair oils. They smell incredible, they leave your hair feeling incredible. Um, yeah like i say recently rediscovered this and i've been loving it and then final hair products are like my go-to slick back bun essentials um i showed you guys these in a vlog very recently when i showed you a little tutorial of how i do my slick back bun but my go-to hairspray is always the got to be glued this is incredible like nothing will ever compare one little tip that i would give with using any hairspray really is 
combine it with a hair mask so if you are slicking your hair back chances are you might be on like day three four five hair um, it might be really greasy anyway so you're probably going to wash it after you've slicked it back so put in a hair mask before you slick it and then it might not be true but i feel like the hairspray does a little less damage and obviously the hair mask can treat your hair underneath so that is a top tip i would give um but yeah best hairspray ever not too expensive just nothing will beat it and then my other essential with slicking back my hair is this little brush here i get mine on amazon they are just the best for like smoothing flyaways um they're actually also really nice to brush out curls because they're not crazy like harsh they don't kind of drag through your hair they just make them super smooth and yeah come in very handy so i'm gonna link this down below um this is my favorite one that i found on amazon quite a while ago now final couple of kind of beauty products a toothbrush kind of random but i love an electric toothbrush i honestly feel like if you don't have an electric toothbrush the first time you use one you'll be like i swear i've never properly cleaned my teeth in my life like these are the best if you don't already use one i could not recommend upgrading to an electric toothbrush more this is the oral b i zero or io they have like a whole range of these and there's loads of different numbers i just went off a recommendation that i saw online but these are very expensive so the best time to buy them is when they go into the sale because they are literally like half price if not more than that so i'm gonna try and find one that is in the sale but i will link it anyway and just wait until the price drops um because trust me i did not buy this full price they are crazy crazy money um definitely worth it though like the charge on this is great i take it away with me all the time it lasts like I'd probably say about two and a half weeks without needing to be charged at all. Kind of random to recommend an electric toothbrush, but again, this is one of my favourites. And this is just a new one that I bought very recently. And then I don't really have a favourite perfume at the moment. I've kind of stuck with my perfumes. I really, one of my really good friends, she uses Baccarat Rouge. And I know that thing is so expensive, but she just smells great. So I'm kind of like, do I just bite the bullet and invest? Or do I not? Because it is crazy money. So I don't really know what perfume to go for at the moment let me know some of your favorites down below actually because i'd love some inspiration because i've kind of gone from like tom ford black orchid um and i do love that but i feel like i've overused it i'm not obsessed with it anymore um another one of my favorites is Giorgio armani c but i don't know i'm really stuck so i very kindly got sent this joe loves um like perfume stick the other day and also the full size bottle so this is the mango and I want to say lime or something so it's like a really fresh like fruity zesty kind of scent but i particularly love this little stick so it's essentially like a brush pen hopefully you guys can see that and it has this little button on the end here so you just click it and then the gel comes out and you can literally just apply it like that so i love this for traveling i just stick this in my handbag and you're good to go the scent comes out really nicely like this smells incredible just like a new concept that i've not really tried before but thoroughly enjoy so that is kind of it in terms of beauty stuff i've just realized i spoke about my hair products but i didn't actually show you this curler i know for a fact i have recommended this before but i'm recommending it again because i always get questions about how i curl my hair how i style my hair this is the answer like for my curls for looser curls for tighter curls this is the best curling wand i've tried i've tried so many and just keep coming back to the beauty works x molly may one i think this is like 90 pounds or something i will try and link a set that i think beauty bay do um and you get like loads of accessories with it and stuff but it is just the best you can control the temperature it's like a really long barrel so if you have longer hair this is perfect but for reference i curled my hair yesterday and yesterday i had quite like big bouncy curls and then today it's just dropped out into these really nice like waves bearing in mind also i have not used hairspray at all so these are just how the curls have naturally fallen and it is down to this like i just love it so much so i had to mention it again i feel like i've probably mentioned it in my last two videos but she will always be a favorite okay so i think that is kind of it in terms of beauty related stuff so maybe let's move on to a couple of homeware bits because i only have a few um we are actually moving house very soon if you haven't really kept up with vlogs and stuff you might be like what on earth is going on i'm gonna do a proper updates vlog very very soon so you guys can be fully up to speed but yeah i'm so excited because we are moving into a new house and it means so much more homeware stuff which I'm really not mad at. I love a good homeware shop. I cannot wait to get back on H&M Home, Zara Home and just 
buy the entire shop like i love those websites so much so i thought i'd throw a couple of like kind of homeware bits in this video first thing is these neom reed diffusers again not sure if i've mentioned these before i might have because i have loved these for a very long time too i have repurchased this or asked for it for my birthday asked for it for christmas time and time again and this is my favorite scent this is the happiness scent and um, they just smell really really strong and i always get compliments like when people walk into the house i have one of these literally right by the side and everyone's always like it smells really nice in here so i put it down to these kind of a random one and a little bit of like a blast from the past but these yankee candles i feel like everyone loved yankee candles like years ago and i've never really stopped loving them to me personally i feel like they are the nicest smelling candles and again I get compliments on the fact that people can smell these like Zell was here the other day and she was like I could smell like shea butter in your house and I was like oh my god I have a Yankee candle that is literally shea butter and it was this so it just proves that they do let off a good scent like you can definitely smell these so I love a really cute candle but sometimes they're not the most efficient and I feel like these just do the job they still look cute like the little white jars I do still really like them I wanted to throw Yankee candles in here they also last forever like I've burnt these so much and sometimes I have them on for a few hours at a time and they don't really seem to go down that quick. So Yankee Candles, I'm going to link some of my favourites from Amazon because I think they're a little bit cheaper on there um, and obviously they'll be really quick delivery if you do want to give them a go. And then the final homeware bit that I have, this is really rogue but we took this travelling with us and it is the best investment I have made. I say investment but this was like 40 quid so this is the Ultimate Ears um, I can't even remember what exactly it's called. Wonder Boom, I think. This is like one of their mini speakers. This thing is literally industrial. Like it is fully waterproof. You could throw it in the pool if you wanted. We haven't actually ever done that, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, it's fully waterproof. It's super loud. It has so much bass on it. Like it is the best mini portable speaker I have ever tried. And the fact that it's only 40 pounds, I thought was really good. So I'm gonna link this as well. Like I say, really quite random, but something that definitely came in really handy on like holidays and things like that. Moving on to fashion. Um, I just have, again, a few staples that I have not stopped wearing recently. So the first being some new sunnies. I picked these up in, I want to say Seville I think I can't remember where we were but we were somewhere in Spain and Brad and I haven't like invested in sunglasses in forever I usually only get cheap pairs because I usually sit on them or they break or I'll lose them um, but I'm obviously taking very good care of these because they are not cheap but these are the pair that I personally went for I feel like they're their classic kind of rounded small frame shape but they do have like the square details i really like these all of the sunglasses that i buy that are from like high street brands are always this shape anyway so i thought i'd just invest and get the real ones thoroughly enjoying these as a cute little accessory if you follow me over on instagram this next thing will be absolutely no surprise to you i have been loving little bando scarf tops so i always get questions on these i get all of mine from zara and i think essentially these are meant to be little head scarves or like scarves for your bag just like a little accessory but i wear these as bando tops and they are the best things ever they're like these square scarves like this um so i grab both corners literally just fold it in half and then i wrap it around like this tight in the back super tight so it doesn't go anywhere and that is it you've got a cute little bando scarf top so i had to throw these in here because i have non-stop been wearing these with little shorts with jeans you can dress them up for the evening so easily or even just for the daytime they kept me really cool and i think they look super super cute this is the newest one that i picked up from Zara not too long ago and I thought it was really nice colours like especially for autumn kind of rogue but H&M swimwear again had to throw this in if you have any last minute holidays planned check out H&M swimwear because thoroughly impressed they are the most flattering bottoms ever they have the cutest little tops with them and I just love the sizing so for example I have this little black bikini here I'm actually going to insert a picture so you can see this on um but all of H&M swimwear is really nice quality and obviously so inexpensive like it's so nice and affordable so I will link a couple of my favorite ones I'll try and find this exact set but they also have like mix and match bottoms so if you prefer a bit more of a full brief you can pair that with the exact same top um and vice versa if you want like a thong fit they will also have that and then final kind of fashion thing that i've definitely been getting into is cargos it's taken me a while but i love them now i am obsessed especially over autumn winter i can see myself wearing these so much with 
baggy oversized hoodies like big jumpers so i've got these ones from urban outfitters i bought these not too long ago so i'll see if they're still online i also have a staple pair from hollister that you guys would have seen if you've been watching my vlogs i've worn them literally to death but just any cargoes really i'm definitely going to get some more in my wardrobe oh and then actually i have a pair of staple shoes and a new staple little bag that again i have been loving so i'm going to start with the shoes because as well as the little scarf tops if you do follow me on instagram you would have seen these absolutely everywhere i wear these to death i feel like i have worn them to death like they look very worse for wear but i always get questions on these because people aren't sure whether i have the like original converse or the more platform ones these are the platform ones i way prefer them i like that they give me a little bit of height but also i just think they're a little bit of a cuter shoe so yeah these are the chuck taylor platform converse i think they still have them on asos so i'll try and link them um, but they have so many different colour variations. I just got the classic black and white because they go with absolutely everything. And yes, I do wear them to death. Yes, I probably need a new pair. But these have literally been everywhere with me recently. So that is a shoe recommendation. And then the little bag that I have been absolutely loving. This is from Olivia Sales. Obviously, this is a little Bottega dupe. And... I mean she's cute like she's just as cute as the original and that bag is so expensive I just could not spend that amount of money on it so this Olivia Sales one I want to say is like just over 20 pounds or something and it's really lovely quality it goes so nicely with like more monochrome outfits obviously it's just a little white bag um, and it's become such a staple also love that there is a lot of room in here like you actually can get a lot of stuff in your bag which is really handy because we all love a small bag but some of them are ridiculously impractical but this one is not that so yeah that is a new little staple bag that i have been loving on to the final section and i've left this till last because i'm aware not everybody will be overly interested in this but i've been getting so many questions on like gym gear at the moment what i've been wearing to the gym and i definitely have a few staples like staple brands um staple pieces that i wear time and time again so one of the brands that i love is lululemon she's expensive she is like 90 pounds for a pair of leggings i'm aware it is not that cheap but the quality is there like rewashing this stuff it feels just the same as when i first bought it you can tell that it is worth the price so i have these camo leggings which i wear so so often um they're just like a really nice fit they're super high-waisted they feel lovely i could not rave about these more but i am aware of the price so what i'm going to do is link these and also i have i think they're in the wash right now so i don't have them on me but i have the amazon version of these leggings so amazon is another stable place where i get a lot of my gym wear from for example this little sports bra how freaking cute like it has this really nice crisscross back to it it's just like a simple black sports bra but the fit of this stuff the quality for the price is a joke like so so worth it their leggings that are a replica of these are 22 pounds i think 25 pounds max and their sports bras are literally like 15 to 18 pounds so if you haven't checked out their stuff already i could not recommend it more like the quality is amazing the fit is so nice um i always get my stuff true to size on there so i'm going to link again some of my favorites from amazon fashion and then my other absolute go-to brand i mean for lad around the house or the gym is adenola i just love them like they do gym gear so well the sports bras the leggings everything is so nice but also it doubles up as really cute little outfits in the day as well um i love their matching sets so i thought i'd just quickly show you one of them um obviously gym shark i have some of their shorts here i don't know what collection it is but everything is like a really nice soft double line material so i love these kind of shape shorts that they have um again i'll link some of my favorite gym shark stuff and then the final brand is bow and tee i think they make really cute gym gear as well like if you want like a nice really cutesy matching set like in a lovely color bow and tee will be your go-to i do just have some black shorts to show you but these are just their ribbed black cycling shorts again super high-waisted um really lovely quality and not crazy expensive i feel like these are kind of middle ground just really quickly another thing i love from adenola is their socks again whether it's just for wearing them general day to day or at the gym these are some of my favorite gym socks i'm gonna link the multi-pack where i got these ones from i have so many pairs of them it's actually a joke and then i actually picked these up on amazon so i'll try and find the direct link to these but these little nike socks as well i really love these paired with my trainers which i will actually show you because i get a lot of questions about these too so these are ons these are the on running trainers but the cloud tech ones can't lie i bought these because so many people in the gym wear them and they are great like 
worth the hype i get why everybody wears them the only thing i don't love about them is they have this really weird like sole to them can you guys see it has like a massive gap in the middle here and our entire driveway is stones so i do get a few friends join me in the gym sometimes like i get some pebbles and stones stuck in this gap so i don't really love that aspect but the trainers themselves i feel like they still look quite cute but obviously most importantly they are very very comfortable when i'm running i tend to get like shin splints or it feels like that um and since i've been wearing these that has definitely subsided like these have helped so much so i do a lot of like cardio based stuff and these are really good like all-round gym trainers um, so I highly recommend these as well. They need a little bit of a clean because they're kind of grubby. That is everything that I have to show you guys for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was super long, but there was a lot of products I wanted to get through and recommend to you guys. But like I say, all links will be in the description. Make sure you check out Air Up if you are interested. I'm gonna go and refill my bottle now and drink the rest of this. But yeah, I've missed filming these. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you like to see? Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new here and hopefully I'll speak to you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.